Hello friend, and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. We're here with Death Stranding Director's Cut on the PS5, and today we're going to be driving uh, Norman Reedus, apparently. Uh, I have completed the original Death Stranding on easy. Um, you know when it first came out? No, we took it with hard. Very hard. I've got to be honest, I, I'm not feeling it was very hard because I am quite old and my reaction time is very, very poor. So, uh, yeah, right, let's let's go with, with hard. Now, the reason I've decided to do this is because um, I'm looking at getting back to the um, the idea of haulage games, the truck simulators and such like. And I figured this was just another haulage game, you know. I know it's not, but it is. You, you get me. If you're watching this, you're watching it for the um, you're, you're watching it for the death strandingness. You're not watching it for the simness. That is so cool. And I know that Kojima's got one of those in his lobby because he's a ledge. A quick word of warning regarding copyright infringements. I have had to mute the game in certain points. The rope, along with the stick, are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep the bad away, the rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends of our own invention. Wherever there were people, there were the rope and the stick. But there you go. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Okay, so I'm going to try not to talk over the, um, the cutscenes too much. Because I know that, you know, you, you don't want to miss the dialogue. But this is one of the moments where I've had to mute it so that I don't get any kind of issues uh, with copyright. But it does give us a really good chance to have a look at the, the scenery in the game, which looks absolutely stunning in 4K. Uh, the colours they use, the lighting, everything just looks absolutely on point. It's brilliant. Uh, if you haven't played Death Stranding yet, and I don't know what rock you've been hiding underneath to have reached that point, uh, it's it's basically post-apocalyptic Euro Truck Simulator uh, with your own remote control, Norman Reedus, and a baby. So that pretty much sums it up. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next time. No, right, we're going to do some gameplay as well, I suppose. Um, oh, there's top it there. That's great. There have been some... Big changes, as far as I know. Uh, obviously, the uh, the resolution, the frame rate, a bit of a graphics overhaul here and there. Definitely, the lighting and HDR have been, um, you know, uh, tempered with or tinkered with. Take your pick. A uh, nice shine on the boxes there. Uh, it really shows the the extra lighting off nicely. Uh, this this bike slash trike. It's one of the vehicles you do get to use in the game. Uh, it even make, in fact. We're going to be playing around with those. I will set certain episodes to adult only. On the, on the descriptions. And that's due to language and violence. I think there's sunglasses. Sorry, I just do. Fly away, birdies. Oh, now it's washing out his hair dye. Ah. Oh. He washes all that off without to look his real age. As he's a sort of grandpa age like me in real life. It's an interesting little bit of, tri bit of trivia for you. Uh, in order to do this, the developers actually bulked up Norman Reedus' body uh, at his request. I guess he was feeling a little bit insecure. As I would be feeling if handprints were appearing in mode like that. Go on. You got this. But not that way. That's basically me at Bathurst wondering where the track went. You no, 
No, it is. Oh dear. No, hang on. Hang in there. You can do it. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind me. I'll just sit in the corner and be quiet. Never. If you don't know the plot yet of this game, uh, I'm not going to spoil it. We will get to it. Because it's really quite cool. Go on, Sam. Off your trot. Oh, crazy disappearing on Bella Lady. We've all been there, haven't we? We've all had those days. Bye, bike. Oh, great. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was going to chat during that moment, but one of my cats is randomly meowing, and I thought that would be uh, even more fun. I'm going to speed up certain parts of the game, which are just, um, you know, wandering around, picking things up. Still gives us a chance to have a good look at the scenery. It does look really, really cool. What a gorgeous game. There's a waterfall over there we're going to be going past uh, shortly. First of all, we've got to hide from this rain. I really, really wish you could actually move at this speed in the game. That would be fantastic. I would love that. So we've dropped some of our cargo. We need four pieces. We're going to grab it as we're going along. Also, with the scanner, we're able to find lost cargo, which is uh, which is handy for bonuses. The more likes you get from things such as collecting lost cargo, uh, the more your the more your character improves. You get nice little bonuses. Shut up again now for this cutscene. Believe it or not, we are still in the intro. I wonder if that would still be two pieces of cargo if I hadn't picked that one up at the start. I must experiment with that at some point. No, my picture. already holding my breath. <laughs> That's just a habit, I think. I've actually got a body like that. I mean, you can't see it under all the flap, but I'm convinced it's there. That's rude. is just so good. Uh, the way it depresses the earth and the water kind of fills in. 
really, really good. So, yeah. Hold your breath, everyone. Next time it's raining, consider why your Amazon package hasn't arrived. Perhaps the driver is hiding in a cave. With a crazy disappearing umbrella lady. Okay, the prologue begins. I told you that was still the intro. And this is still a cutscene as well, so what the hell? There's a lot of these long ones. Get used to it. I think they're gone. What the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Some Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Bloody bugs. And the light tartrograds. You want it? A crypto buy it a day keeps the time fall away. Yeah, okay, I've got a picture that taste in like Toblerone. Otherwise, there. No. Put that in your mouth. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. Let's get some cream on that hand. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. The 
the time full fast forwards whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. So, the rain isn't water. It's it's basically condensed time. And we'll get more to the lore on that uh, as we progress into the game. The other little bits, like the Dreamcatcher, for example, which is dangling from his, his back, which we'll get to. Uh, there's actually a whole dead load of awesome lore to go through uh, that comes through in the form of emails, which we will trawl our way through. But that's going to take some time. And it's not going to happen just yet, because we've still got a little bit more storyline to set up yet. The little bugs on the radar there are crypto buyouts. We can eat those to restore our blood. And we've got some soundtrack coming up, so let's do something about that. Can we mute it? Options. Uh, sound. Audio settings. We cannot. We can only adjust the master volume, which seems a little bit far-sighted. I guess uh, Kojima wanted his soundtrack to be heard by everyone so what i'll do is i will just mute that and speed things up until such a time as uh, the soundtrack has ended the water effect there looks absolutely brilliant i'm just i'm still gushing over the game that the grass the water the rocks everything absolutely fantastic i see as i said we can get some extra thumbs up for character improvements if we can find lost cargo that's a feature all the way through the game and that's great. You can also find cargo which has been lost by other players, which is uh, it's, it's such a good system. Uh, you can help out other people. And that's as much of what this game is about. It's, it's a very social game. Uh, here, as you can see, our scanner's picked up some yellow on the stream. That is, that is deep water. You do not want to go into red. And yellow, if your stamina gauge runs out, you can see mine running down. And that can be very bad. You get swept away. If you get swept away, you lose the cargo off your back. Uh, it's just a, it's a real pain in the butt. So you have to be careful when traversing water. Some vehicles can do it, some vehicles can't. Uh, depending on how deep the water is. That's something else we are going to get to. I want those smart drugs. We need those smart drugs. Try something. So, look, I was standing still, for goodness sake. Anyway, smart drugs, come to me. You can have a certain amount of weight on your back. You can also carry weight in your hands. Uh, and also, having things in your hands mean you can have impromptu weapons. Uh, because there are people out there, and people are invariably dicks. Let, let's be honest. Nothing changes, as far as people are concerned. You do have to balance Sam You're using the triggers, and the more weight you carry on your back, the harder that balance becomes. I think at the moment it's been very kind to us. Uh, we can get equipment which can upgrade our ability to carry more weight. Which we will get to. I believe that the director's cut actually has more equipment, so I'll look forward to seeing what that equipment is. I haven't looked at any kind of spoilers. Because I, I really didn't want to know what was coming. I think that's everything. Maybe we can get to the city now. Oh no, we've got another parcel here. But that parcel's on the way to the city, so that's brilliant. We'll get that on the way there. And get down this hill without falling over, because we don't want to damage stuff. Look how fast I can run. Yay! Uh, now, I sped things up again. I'm going to be doing that during this season, because this series, because you know, it's just... There's so much walking and enjoying the scenery, but there's only so much you can talk about. Oh, that's a bit top-heavy. That's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, for balance. When you get to a city, you'll see your, your cargo light up like that. Anything which is highlighted in blue can be delivered to that particular location. Uh, so that's, that's a great way of knowing how much weight you're going to lose. You can plan for the future then. Way Up straight, Sam. You've got this. Oh, I, I feel bad for him. You know, I, I struggle carrying two shopping bags. Uh, maybe she gets another one back like he's got. That'd be amazing. I knew Dante Aldi was one of those boxers and... Yeah. Look at all the chicken I could buy. I love food. Food's the best. Oh, that's where we're taking it, just there. If we can get there without falling over. 
It's, uh, it's not looking good, is it? Go on, Sam. You're nearly there. Six meters. There we go. What a hero. Make delivery. Eight pieces of cargo. That's uh, that's four that we need for the job, and also four lost cargo. So that's lots of likes to start us off with. I think of likes as experience points. You're it all in that dumb way to... What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so... Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. Well, that's gratitude. We kept them waiting. It's this, so, um, your main is, is awesome, but you can get better than awesome. There's legendary. We're going to want some legendaries for a, a trophy. Yeah, your main deliveries are going to give you more likes. And you can use the, the found stuff to just, you know, bulk up what you've already got. And as this grows... This adds to your stats and gives you bonuses. Job done. I'm kidding. The job never ends. We've all been there, right? When the boss gives you just one more job to do. Whether at school and the teacher just gives you one more piece of work. Oh, yes. We've all been there. This is a cool car. Uh, not so great around Bathurst by the look of it, but uh, cool all the same. Seemed like a little bit of a health and safety nightmare, though. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Takuma said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Like I have a choice. Come and take a look. Got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerator's to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Baby. Makes me feel like shit every time. You are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out too. 
Roll out. That was such an overreaction there from uh, from Norman Reedus. Being over another long cutscene. Yeah, anybody who's, who's played the uh, the Metal Gear Solid series is going to know just what Kojima was like with his cutscenes. So good. This one, the game's a little bit interactive. You get to look around, check out the environment. So I, I did that. You know, the world was different when I was a kid. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. We have highways, airplanes. Even visit other countries. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. Worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started pulling up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. So that's what we're up against. The dead. At least they're not zombies, I suppose. Uh, that guy is looking... Son of a bitch. Rainbow! Oh, I saw it when I was a kid, Rainbow. Oh, no, that's a different Rainbow. Sorry, that's an uh, upside down Rainbow. Much further to the incinerator. This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're gonna have to cut to the BTs. Yay. That's the metal time. Exit and exit. Okay, the hoods are up. When the hoods are up like that, that means time fall. Here it comes. Liquid time. I think I was doused in at some point in my thirties. Those assholes got us right where they want us. Get us out of here. Sam, can you see anything? I told you I can't see them. I can only sense them. Okay, was that tense enough for you? Hello, driver. And goodbye, driver. When Death Stranding was first teased, uh, this is the scene that we were teased with. This is what started all the hype. Got the crabs. I know the crabs are a bit random, but they are relevant. So, you know, stick with it. Sam's so lucky he managed to fall in such a way that the rain doesn't hit him. Wow. I need a raincoat that does that. Because it doesn't matter how far forward I pull my hood, I just get soaked. And that's broke. That's not going anywhere. And we've shed our cargo as well. So this is uh, this has not been a successful delivery. No thumbs up for this. And the stuff that's leaking out of this guy, that's Kyrillium. Uh, that's something else we're going to get into later on. Now what you need to know is, it coming out of the body is bad. 
And having a truck on you is kind of bad as well. This guy's in a predicament. Oh, you're getting wet. Oh, you're getting old. Guy is messed up. So, as you can see, the scanner there um, goes red when these BTs are close. And the, the frequency with which it flaps gives you an idea of, uh, of how close they are. a problem. I can't stop screaming. See in the background, there's another BT. It's in the distance. Sorry. No, instead of shooting the BT, he shot the guy. Um, that's relevant. We will get back to that. This guy's a dick. But that's something else we'll get to as well. Maybe. He tries to shoot himself. So there's one live person going up there and one corpse. The important bit about this scene is the live guy who's trying to stab himself. Oh yeah, they're all around. That is a big whatever the hell it is. You look, it's got an umbilical cord. Uh, right at the top middle of the screen is the guy who's still alive. He's still trying to stab himself and... That's what happens when the living makes dead uh, with the the BTs. They, they they make contact like that, and it's just boom explosion. Ah, okay. Doesn't explain why, but like I said, we'll get into the law. No, the law is very very deep for this game. Also important to this scene is the necklace Sam is now wearing. Baby. A 
And by baby, I mean... No, baby. Haven't we all had days like that? I mean, perhaps not. Cool scar, bro. Sure, in this PS5 version, they've, uh, they've added some chest here. I don't remember. If I'm wrong, let me know. Okay, that's cool. But the BTs that they talked about are the dead. And this... This is a beach. And I know that sounds like I'm, I'm saying something really, really obvious by saying this is a beach. But we're going to get onto what beaches actually are. They, it's, uh, it's a metaphor. That again we will cover in law. And I will put in a video description if a video has law in it so that you know what's coming. You can see Norman Reedus has got crabs. Happens to the best of us. I do hope you're keeping up. You're keeping up, right? See that scary thing that went above the water then? We're going to see that later. Um, okay, so... Sam is a repatriate. So he can return to his life. Uh, return back to where he died. Uh, that's, that's basically the game's way of making sure you don't get a, a game over too seriously. What you can really lose rather than your life is cargo. Baby. And you don't want to lose cargo. You want to be doing everything as well as possible. Hey, Mads. Can you hear me? Yeah, Daddy. That's your first real um, storyline teaser there. <laughs> That's it. We're alive. Oh, nice. Bloody bugs are cool. Don't eat bugs, but floaty bugs are cool. We may have died, but we've inherited a baby, so uh, I I don't see how we've come out of this well. Remember the tears are a chiral allergy? Keep that information with you. Boom. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. That's a big handprint. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Join me again, and we will actually start uh, making some deliveries. And we'll start to see the world and meet some people. Thanks everyone in Discord, your legends. 
Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>